Hello and welcome to Chris's ridiculous strategy time. Today we're playing carts and darts on chimps for you guys. Yeah, I know chimps with a ridiculous strategy. What are the chances we're actually gonna pull it off here, man? So we're gonna do a uh, a ninja start actually. What's this? We're gonna go for a ninja, right? Yo, just like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this guy up to uh, one zero pretty quickly. Soon after that, we're gonna pop in just a low level dart monkey just to kind of. Excuse me, man. I got the burps coming up. Just kind of keep things uh, uh, occupied for a little while while we start saving up for some real interesting money advances here. So we're going to end up getting rid of this guy. We're going to end up popping down uh, Oban Greenfoot, actually. And we're going to go for a ninja spam. All right. So here we go. Let's go for the ninja discipline. Let's go for this uh, dart monkey right here. The reason why ninja discipline is so important is because it increases your speed by a pretty drastic amount and increases your range a little bit. And I, I, it's not like you can't beat it, but it's pretty freaking good, dude. It's pretty freaking good, for sure. So, uh, there's a lot of spots in this map that people might overlook as actually pretty decent spots. Uh, I definitely will tell you that this spot is not too bad, and this spot is not too bad. It may seem really, really stupid, but it's a really good safety spot if you really need it, you know? Uh, like, don't feel bad if you're like, oh crap, there's a balloon, but I'm about to sneak through. Whoop, pop a dart monkey down, you're good, you know? That's just how you gotta do it. But anyway, if we're already going to do it here, guys, we're going to spend our $500 on this little tire pile right there. Just whoop, take them away with that weird-looking alley pallet thing. I don't know what the heck that thing is, but all right. And then we do have to buy some more stuff. Sadly, I mean, I really want to get, like, a hero going very, very quickly in the map, but it's just really not that easy. Uh, the nice thing is, if you put over green foot just at, a, like, at the, the very edge of where you can hit the balloons, it's good enough. So here we go. We're going to put the ninja to start off here. We're going to put the ninja right here. We're going to get him upgraded also to 1-0. Like I said, that's the pretty important upgrade for the ninja. Like, if you're going to keep lower level ninjas without going too crazy, at least get that 1-0 out. Well, I promise you, it's really, really going to matter for you. Ninja discipline. Drop hurricanes uh, is, is pretty important too. I mean, you're doubling the popping power right there. But at least getting the 1-0 going is, is just so gosh darn helpful. But the thing about sharp shurikens is you shouldn't get that unless you probably have seeking shurikens. Otherwise, you're just sort of wasting your popping power a little bit, you know? But the next thing on the agenda here, guys, is to get Obun. So we want to get his experience flowing. I know it took us a little while to get him here. You know, that's like the main issue that I'm having. But uh, once you get him, things are going to change for the better. So we're going to put Obun green foot kind of like this, where he can like barely reach the balloons. Uh, on the top layer here, right? Now he's got that automatic going to hit the balloons no matter what ability, so it doesn't really matter where the heck you put him exactly, but he's still got the, the, the first time they come around here, and then, as they're leaving, the, he's got another shot to get him before they leave. But the real nice. magic about this strategy is they're going to be building a lot of ninjas. Alright, a lot, a lot, a lot of ninjas. So we're going to start uh, popping these guys down as close as we possibly can to each other, by the way. Like that. Only thing we have to be a little careful for is lead popping power, uh, or camo leads more specifically. Open green foots are only lead popping power in the game right now, and probably for a really long time. But um, I think I uh, for like for the camo leads by that point we should end up getting a a couple of different types of ninjas. We're not only going top path ninjas, by the way, which is going to make this strategy a little more interesting than than you might expect. But you can see the, the the extreme amount of damage that our ninjas are already doing here. They really just slice through those balloons. I'm going to go into like how Groban Greenfoot actually works in combination with the ninjas here in just a, a minute. But uh, for now, just understand that it gives them a pretty big bonus. All right, let's do the monkey village here. So we do the monkey village just uh, assume just a below open, sort of in the middle of everything here. And then that's going to allow us to go for the bigger radius which is going to allow us to get super duper cheap ninjas for the most part on a lot of these guys. We're going to go monkey business, monkey commerce, and then we're going to go jungle drums on the top path here so we can get speedy ninjas as well. All right, this is going to be a pretty important part of our thing, but we really want to get this as fast as possible because now everything's going to be extra cheap on us. All these ninjas are going to be even less expensive, which, if you ask me, is a pretty important part of our strategy when we're talking about spam a ram -a ding dong in these guys, all right? But let's get some decent level ninjas for now. We don't wanna we don't wanna you know push ourselves too far for round 40 here. We need to be able to pop a Moab class boot still as well. So let's get uh, let's get at least one fourth here. We're gonna keep this first one for sure inside of the range here. I can't tell. Are all three of them in range here? Looks like we're lucky, and they technically are in range. 
alright, it's hard to tell, but, like, you know, because they're, like, above the thing, but really they're not, so we go, we're gonna go boom, boom, we're still gonna go seeking shuriken on this guy, and then I'm going to, uh, skip the caltrops for now. Now with this strategy, you're probably gonna want to put some alchemists down as well, right? I mean, we're not soloing ninjas, we're just doing a ninja base strategy, which is, <laughs> I gotta say, pretty entertaining, to say the least. Here we go. Bloom Jitsu! Um, and then we're gonna, basically for every three ninjas that you have, you wanna go for, uh, an alchemist. But, we're gonna do something crazy today. Alright, we're not gonna be going for a bunch of fourth tier alchemists. Instead, we're gonna go for one alchemist up to fifth tier. What? Crazy, crazy son of a gun. This isn't possible at all. This strategy is not even remotely possible. That's you, That doesn't work that way at all, man. Well, I'll admit it's a little bit of a weird strategy, for sure. But it is totally a possible strategy. So, let's at least get this guy going. One, two, three, and four. Just not understand. And then we're going to go for, uh, uh... Basically... Spamming ninjas as much as we possibly can, kind of around the center area right here. Ninjas like this. Don't forget, I think Open Greenfoot Target. gets more range throughout time. I don't remember exactly what levels he gets more range on, but I think he's going to get a lot more range throughout time. So every little ninja that you have over here is going to be uh, doing extra damage and extra pierce from Open. So let's go over the details of all that. Again, I don't remember every single pierce damage bonus he gets for every level. There's 20 levels of weirdness going on. But uh, let's say it's a pretty drastic increase here, guys. You can tell that just like one ninja is able to take down a lot of these boots. Alright. I feel like my positioning on these ninjas has not been exactly ideal. It's not been bad, but it's not really good, per se. But the interesting thing about this strategy is that what we're going to do is we're going to get a lot of uh, middle path ninjas, which are going to increase the speed of ninjas around them, which is also... I don't know if I can fit two of you, man. I'm really hoping for it. I'm rooting for myself on this one. I'm really trying to get this guy. Oh! No, perfect here. Let's see, can I fit another one? Oh! I don't think so. Oh, that's so sad. It looks like there's just a little tiny spot ready for him there. Ready for him. Now, I could put some in different spots there, but that's really not what I'm looking forward to. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to get this guy up to 1, 2, 3, 4, and Seeking Shuriken. We're going to get this guy up to 1, 2, 3, 4, and Seeking Shuriken. And we're going to get whatever uh, one we think is closest to this guy. This one, 1, 2, 3, and eventually 4, up to 4, 0, 1. Those are the three ninjas that are closest to my alchemist. And those are the ones that I think matter the most. So, uh... Let's see, is he powering them up though? He's powering up Obin, that ninja, the top one right next to him, and then. Is that it though? There might be the only th two. It's hard to tell for sure, but I'm just gonna get this one up anyways, just in case. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually get a lot of distraction, counter espionage, shinobi tactic ninjas here. So that's gonna be, uh. Quite a few of them, actually. Counter espionage, Shinobi tactics. Actually, let's wait. Let's get one of those. Um, let's do them up here. We get one of these flash bond ninjas for round 59, because I believe that will be okay with uh, the alchemist combo. But I just I don't want to I don't want to fall for that one, you know. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna get ninjas punched up. Sure here too. All right. But now we have a super duper fast shooting powerful ninja uh, blowout combo here. Uh, they can bob a lot of freaking balloons, actually, believe it or not. We're going to go for a few more of these uh, shinobi tactic ninjas. Just a few more. Basically, all the ones that are in range of. Uh, and with, with that, we won't really get ninjas. I don't care about that. At least ninja discipline. Sharp shurikens is kind of like those. Eh, you can get it if you want, but it's not necessary kind of things. There we go. Anyways, I think it's about time to start uh, saving up some money here. So I don't think the trees give you any money, which is kind of sad. I don't even know if they give you any balloon money here. 
So I'm not even gonna use the trees. I don't wanna I don't wanna mess the game up at all. But believe it or not, Open Greenfoot's the one that's gonna keep on getting leveled up higher and higher and higher. So let's let's go into uh, the details real quick with Open Greenfoot. I said I was gonna do that for you guys. So we got um all magic monkeys in range get plus two pierce. Plus two pierce. So we go from a ninja that's two to four already. Alright. Uh increased attack speed, popping power, totems. Uh, extra layers. Alright, I thought he did more damage in here somewhere. Alright, I'm a little confused. I'm pretty sure... Plus two pierce. Alright, unless they're lying to me, I'm pretty sure he does extra damage. Though I guess now I, c I can't confirm it from the information there, but I will say that Ninja Kiwi is somewhat bad at updating all of the stuff in the little thingma bobs, you know. So here we go. Here's round 63, by the way. This is a very, very tough balloon level. Tough balloon level. And look what these ninjas are doing, man. Look what these ninjas are doing. And we have spent a lot of money to get to this point, though. I 100% admit that. This is a lot of money invested. But what we're really hoping here is that I can get this alchemist upgraded to $64,000. I know, expensive. $64,000. He's going to start permanently brewing every single one of our ninjas non-stop, no matter how fast they're shooting. Then I can just get a bunch of random ninjas kind of all over the place. I want to get one Grandmaster Ninja. I basically want to get one of everything, right? I think the middle path's probably the least important to get up to fourth or fifth tier. Fourth tier would be okay, but fifth tier's like, eh, don't really need it kind of thing. Uh, but then the uh, uh, the bottom path, though, is going to be extra specially interesting. Because that guy is going to shoot, you know, random Moab bombs and things, right? Which is going to hurt them quite a bit. As, at like a normal, regular pace, it's really not that good, but we get a bunch of shinobis over here. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, by the way. Shinobi. It could be chin it could be shinobi. I don't know. Shinobi, no shinobi ninjas. Shine, shine ubi. <laughs> shine me some ubis over here. I don't know. I'm probably making fun of some, some type of people that I don't even know about, but, uh, uh, yeah, there's, I mean, there's obviously, um, uh, a lot of ways to do it. I think it's going to be really cool once we get this sticky bomb combo over here. Well, rather, the fifth tier. I think it's I the name of it. I don't even remember the name of it. I never use it, man. The uh, Grand Master Bomber. The Master Pumper. Sounds kind of weird, man. I, whenever you put master in front of anything, there's just so many ways that can be. But one of the awesome things about this open green foot right here is that his totems are really, really helping out when they get put at the front of the map over here. They're slowing them down. This flash bomb ninja's hitting all the balloons and stunning them and keeping them in place. So our random other ninjas can just pop all the rest of them, you know? So, uh, the way you want to do it, though, is if possible. Sadly, it, it's not really working out perfectly because I had to put my alchemist over here. But if you, if possible, you want to put the shinobis sort of in the middle, and then around the outside a little bit, you want to do more of the higher tier ninjas. And the reason for that is that the shinobis are going to end up uh, speeding up all the ninjas in the range, you know? So the more they are towards the middle, the more they're going to power up other ninjas. Or more ninjas, basically. Alright, saving up money, though. This is where it's gonna get tricky, man. I mean, we gotta beat we gotta beat into the 80s. Alright, with this ninja combo right here. Can we do that? It's not gonna be easy. I think we can. I mean, we're, we're popping every balloon before they even go through the tunnel here, so... Um... Even on round, if we can do that on round 78, I can just about guarantee that we can take down probably around 82, 83, 84, 85. I think after that, I don't know. But uh, by that point, we should be able to get this uh, this big boy right here. This big boy, permanent perma brew. And I really got to rely on Open Greenfoot as well. I mean, he's only level 13 right now, but I need to give him higher, guys. Bigger and badder and stronger. I need him to go up, up, up and away. Fly away, my friend. But you can tell the experience he's getting at this point, it's pretty nice, it's pretty awesome. Here we go, we got some reinforced balloons coming in here. Still though, ooh, ooh, they're gonna get through the tunnel here. Alright, so Bronze 75 is a pretty big pain for us though, we do know that. But you can tell, it's already starting to change uh, against our favor here, guys. Round 76. Okay, that could have been worse. A lot of regen balloons against ninjas. <laughs> Not usually what you're looking for here. Now, there are ways that I could do it, do it a little bit different. I mean, I could go for more shinobis. I could go for more fourth-tier ninjas. I could get something else if I really need to. And if I have to quit, I will quit, all right? Uh, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna quit here. I don't care what, what, what chimps I'm gonna get. I wanna do something crazy. I'm gonna see how well it's gonna work and how it's going to work. 
I've never done this before. That's one thing I want to point out to you guys. Pretty, pretty, pretty easily. I've, I've never done this before. So here we go. Round 78. All right. A little painful. A little painful. But we took it down uh, for the, the next level here, of course. It's going to be uh, basically the same thing. I think it's the same amount of ceramics, but now they're camo. But every single one of the towers on the screen, except for this guy, has camo detection. So, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's good here. Hopefully we defend him. Good job here. Bam, bam. Need another uh, 30 grand, though. It's going to be a little rough to get to. Do I have four of these guys? Got one, two, three, four. I do have four. Uh, four ninjas over here. Up to fourth tier. Alright, on 79, though. Against, uh, against spaced balloons. We actually don't do a bad job at all, you know? Uh, even if it takes a little more time because we're slowing them down, we're keeping them on the screen for a little bit longer here. But this has given us a ton of money here. I think we should be able to get it by around like 82 or so. Only $20,000 $20, from now. We get 10 grand per round? No, not quite. Slow down that Zomga. That Zomja. Slow them down, baby. Now, I have not been using any of Open's abilities so far. I don't know how much that's going to matter or if I'm going to have to actually use it on Route 81 or something like that, or 82 maybe. I don't think I will, but I'm just leaving it as an open opportunity. Like, I'll, maybe I'll do it. Slow him down, slow him down. Let Open do his work here. He's still popping quite a few balloons. Look at that. He's popping like 200 per shot right now. That's that's a pretty decent amount of balloons, actually. Looking pretty good for us. Cleaning him up, cleaning him up. Still about 15 grand down, though. Awesome. And again, this is the part where like I might have to just exit out, restart it, and see if I should maybe build like one or two more ninjas to kind of keep myself keep myself going for a little bit longer. Uh, maybe even build a couple of those middle paths or something like that. So far, man, it's going pretty good. Let's pop one of these guys down. Not that it's going to do all that much. we got to do it anyways. Reinforce ceramics. I mean, the good thing is we're stunning them a lot, you know? Without that stunnage, we're definitely struggling even more. Now, the interesting thing is, is when you get the perma brew, you got to keep in mind that it's not an instantaneous It's going to brew everything in range. It's going to take a good solid minute or so to get everything boosted. Here we go. Lots and lots of balloons coming out right now. Woo! Woo! All right, so for this next round, man, it looks like we're finally going to afford it on round 84, I think. I'm going to get some decent balloons coming in here. Bunch of Moabs coming in. Bunch of BFBs coming in here, too. Slow them down. We need $3,000 more. 2000 1,000. Looks like we should be able to take this level down anyways. Whether we get it or not. And permabrew. Alright, we got the permabrew here, guys. This is exciting times that we're living in right now. Now we're going to permabrew every single one of these ninjas. Oh my god. This is delicious. Deliciously amazing. So let's do this. Let's get a couple more of these uh, shinobi tactic ninjas. Make everybody shoot even faster. And I'm still going to get the ninja discipline for sure because we like that range. And it's just because Sharp Shurikens is going to double our popping power. It's not that expensive. I feel like it's worth it to just get. There we go, Sharp Shurikens. And I think I'm going to do one more of these Shinobi tactics. Though if I'm not mistaken, I believe you could do up to 20 ninja Shinobi tactic uh, ninjas combined together to speed them all up. Isn't that ridiculous? Sharp Shurikens... And, uh, that's where we are right now. So I think the, uh, next tower I might want to get is just a Grandmaster Ninja, sadly. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> Annihilation, man! Alright, DDTs, though! Oh, crap! I don't have any DDT popping power, do I? Do I? Oh, man. Oh, no, Chris, did you make a mistake here? Hopefully, the Alchemist has given them enough. Come on, get them, get them, get them. They are gotten! All right, okay. So Chris didn't have any official ZDT popping power, but the recent change to the game has allowed it so the second-tier Alchemist, the guy that shoots at the green blast, is going to end up making it so uh, they will continue to have their lead popping power forever. So now all of my ninjas, if they are already permabrewed, should have lead popping power. So, that scared me for a second, man. I like I had that in the back of my head, but I was afraid. I was like, oh, it's gonna work? I hope it does. Anyways, uh, I'm just kind of wondering if I should go for some more regular 4th tier ninjas, or save up for something else, or 
what I should do. I think, first and foremost, let's get at least a sticky bomb. Really fast shooting thing. We'll put him on strong here. And this is actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, man. This is actually working out pretty well. I think I might get another one of these guys. Let's get one more sticky bomb. We don't need to go all the way up to the, uh... uh let's go for Ninja Discipline Structure while we're at it. Shoot, makes him shoot faster, you know? So... Uh, against so many gods, though, the sticky bombs really not doing as much as you'd like them to do. You can tell that they are throwing a lot of sticky bombs on these oh my gods, but at the same time, it doesn't look like they're damaging them as much as you want them to. It's really a lot of the uh, a lot of the damage is actually coming from these other ninjas over here. So now, at this point, now now that the ninja isn't uh, uh, getting de-alchemized ever, now we can throw down a crap ton of these shurikens all over the place or, uh, what do they call Caltrops all over the place. And that's just an extra way for us to pop these, uh, Bug Class Bloons. Bloons, too. But I think the Bug Class Bloons is, like, the real, real way we're popping these guys. And then, I think the next real har- Oh, he's the max level now! There he is! Open Greenfoot reached the max level on round 96 right here. Alright, I think- I think the best thing for us to go for is Grandmaster Ninja. But, I'm honestly really curious if I want to get a Master Bomber here or not. Uh, basically, if I can afford it, I'm gonna get the Master Bomber. If I can't, I'll just go for the Grandmaster Ninja. Even though they're like a six grand difference, we're getting to that point in the game where we really just aren't gonna have delicious billions of dollars or anything like that. I will say, though, round 98 still looks like it's gonna be a pretty big pain for us, man. Um, if we can barely pop round 96... Round 97. Reinforced Zomog Jizzles. Yeah, those reinforced balloons, dude. Those things are insane. Around 98. I think it's better. I think we're better off going for a bunch of these guys. It's so sad, but I think it's best. Maybe one of these. Ooh, I mean, I don't have enough time yet now. Oh, oh, oh I wish I did that. I could have gotten a quick uh, middle path ninja here. Where is he? Oh, I guess I could have gotten any of them up to a middle path ninja here. I'm guessing it's not too late. Bloom sabotage. I mean, he's going to come back in a few seconds in here. Actually, it's looking pretty good, though. I think we're going to take them all down. Not even necessary. These fourth-tier ninjas, man, are beastly. Absolutely beastly here. Don't even need to use the uh, fourth-tier ability. More Caltrops while we're at it. And oh, my goodness. The ninjas have come through us. Can't come through for us in the end right here, guys. We're going to take down the entire game on chimps mode with just a crap ton of ninjas. And a dart monkey. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, and an alchemist. And and Omen. And, and a village. Okay, I guess we use some uh, some more support towers here. But we mained ninjas, which is the exciting thing. So as soon as this BF bad pops up, we're going to just slow it all down just to confirm that we will take them all down here. And it looks like, bam, shazam, lo and behold, can you believe that it's possible? The Black Chimps Medal. Look at that. We get a little alchemist here. Oh, 014 Alchemist. Interesting. Um, Alright, let's go free play so we can get our extra uh, thing about. Now, here, here's a good question here. Can we pop purple blues? Or that big group of purple blues here? I think we can. Ninjas are, are pretty good against those guys. They've got no actual weakness, but there's just a lot of them, you know? Sometimes they do sneak through. All right, so open. Let's just check out the pop count really quick before we leave, just to kind of compare a little bit. All right. Now keep in mind that these four ninjas, like right next to us, have been around the entire game. This guy has, and this guy's been around almost the entire game as well. Two hundred seven thousand. This guy's got only sixty. This is just a regular two three. The fourth tier's got three hundred twenty, three hundred thirty, three hundred forty, and one hundred ninety four. Very intriguing. Interestingly enough, this guy's not been around the entire game, he's been a little bit closer to the balloons. He's got 100,000, 100,000, and then these two guys, the Flash Bomb Ninjas and the Sticky Bomb Ninjas, have uh, 170 and 136. So believe it or not, there are some of our, our top pop counters over here, which is quite intriguing, you know? I guess they're really doing a pretty good amount of bow-up damage over here. Like I said, guys, I think uh, I've been underestimating the Perma Brew alchemist lately, and I think I really need to try and incorporate him a little bit more often into my strategies, if possible. I know it's not always possible, but if you could pull that off, man, it's pretty, pretty good. So, uh, that's where I'm gonna call it for today, though, guys. Um, I don't think we need to do this any, any further, though I will say that, uh, we actually get to the point where Obi-Greenfoot is 
ranges. No, not quite. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling. That's all I'm gonna have for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you press that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the little bell notification icon so you can see more awesome, cool videos just like this one. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.